my apartment friends. How the heck are you? Welcome back to beautiful Middleburg. It is a glorious August evening here on the farm. We did the two, I, I just went ahead, I did the two um, harvesting contracts for, uh, was it Owen? I can't remember now. Anyways, he paid us, so our money has gone up to 15220 bucks in the bank. That's not too shabby. I had to buy a few supplies, like uh, bacon and canned water and Mountain Dew. So I got that taken care of, and then I got a call from Zoe. Zoe? I think it's Zoe. Zoe had asked me if I could do some cultivating, so I thought, hey, I want to do that. I want to get the old New Holland out and give that a shot and see how she's going. So I'm down here doing a cultivation contract worth about 10000 bucks. So... That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby. I can't get my GPS to work here real quick, though, so I've been kind of doing this freehand, but you just put the nose of the tractor, the hood, the bonnet, whatever you want to call it. They call it a bonnet. Uh, right along the edge there, and I'm, I think I'm okay there. So I think hope, hopefully Zoe will be uh, happy with my work. I mean, how can you screw up a cultivating contract? You really can't screw up cultivating. I mean, uh, even <laughs> even an old-timer could do this, you know? Well, I don't know. He, he has a hard time doing a lot of things, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. So this would give us another 10000 bucks. So we're raking in the money. And then the best news of the day is I got, I've been inquiring about marketing this uh, whiskey and corn whiskey that we're producing in our hidden distillery in the woods. And there is a distributor in town that is willing to do it. And they're paying about 1400 bucks per, they, they're willing to pay about 1400 bucks per barrel of whiskey that we produce. That's not bad. That's not, I mean, I was expecting a lot more, but uh you know, maybe we can finagle on the contracts. At first, I said 2200 bucks a barrel, and they came down, you know, and then I don't know. So I'm hoping we can settle about 1800 bucks a barrel, 1600 bucks a barrel, somewhere around there. So at the farm, we have been producing some barrels. So I'm thinking tomorrow morning, I am going to head down to that uh, distributor and uh, drop off the barrels and get a check for that so we can have some uh, more money in the bank because i did talk to the guy that's got that baler and built trailer he manages the um, the livestock market so it's, it's sitting down there so we can go take a look at it and then i also did talk to another farmer that has a uh, spreader for sale so between some contract work here making some money and some of our whiskey barrels Hopefully I have enough to purchase the uh, two items that I need. But, um, yeah, not too shabby. How much is uh, Zoe paying me for this? I'm going to check. Zoe, there you are, Zoe. Oh, hey, 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 Zoe. $10,325. So we're just about done. 95% done. So that's been pretty good. Plus, the good thing is I got the new Holland out here, man. Oh, I've been driving the new Holland. She runs like a purr. Purrs like a kitten? I don't know what it is. Runs like a charm. It's a beautiful, beautiful tractor. But see, my, my GPS monitor screen, I just can't get it to lock in. So I'll, I'll have to um, have somebody look at that and get that thing kind of figured out. And then, then the other news of the day, my friends, and the other news of the day, uh, you remember that Zeke character? Yeah, that Zeke and Street guy? That um, Well, he's been nice to me. I mean, he's borrowed me some money now and then, and he's run a bunch of dealerships. But he heard that I was up here in New York and thought, you know what? I, sh I, I, I should move to Newark. I said, no, no, you really don't have to. You just stay where you are. We can talk on the phone. We can, uh, you know, yeah, if you, if you want to FaceTime, we can FaceTime. But, yeah, it's fine. You just stay where you are. But he said, no, 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 I think I'm going to come. There's a farm for sale. So, crap. Now, he, now he's around here. So he is uh, purchasing a farm and getting all set up as we speak. So it's a, that's okay. That's okay. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. You know, it's like, um, you know, when friends and family come to visit your house, when they walk in the door, you just give them a roll of toilet paper and say, here, when that's gone, so are you. That's it. That's all you get. One roll. That usually seems to work. Then I got to hide all the other rolls of toilet paper because, uh, yeah, if you run out of toilet paper, you, you got to go, right? So it's one of those things. But it's okay. It's going to be kind of fun. So maybe uh, he'll help us out. We'll help him out, and uh, life will be good. Yeah, anyways, it's, um, yeah, what time is it? Oh, it's getting to be about 6, 30, 7 o'clock in the evening here in Middleburg, New York. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful August day. Um, other than that, so Jacinta B is finishing up the report on Field 7 for us. That's the, uh, no, Field 5, I'm sorry. Field 7 is corn. Field 5 for us. So we'll figure out what we need to do there. I think we're going to have to put down some lime. Our uh, pH levels are too acidic. So we'll have to um, raise that up, get it more alkaline. And then we'll probably have to put some fertilizer down. And then I'm going to get the plow out. We're just going to plow it up. Now, the other thing I'm kind of worried about is if uh, we plow it, you know, with the uh, rocks and stuff. So we might have to um, lease a um, rock picker-upper thing 
and get that taken care of, get that all ready for spring planting for next year. You know what? I haven't even talked to Jacinta about the uh, planting calendar. I don't know if we can do a uh, winter crop in there or what we should do. You know, with two fields, all we got, we're just raising barley and corn. So, I mean, you can, you can do barley on barley. You can do corn on corn. You can do barley, corn, barley, corn. I, I don't know. So, we'll have to see what um, what she recommends for planting calendar. I mean, kind of go from there. We really do need to look into, my friends, we really do need to look into uh, maybe acquiring a field or two, I think. That, that, might, that might be um, something worthwhile. But... With that said, you know, it it's all comes down to money. It all comes down to money. The night shift did come into the bar, so Sophie is back home getting a few things done. She came and helped me finish up the uh, harvesting contracts and then brought the uh, combine up to the farm and got that all put away, so that's good to go. So we're okay in that department, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. I like I like to keep things nice and tidy. You know what I mean? Tidy. Not tidy whities but just keep things tidy. I like to keep things tidy. I'm more of a boxer guy myself, but that, that's for another time, another place. Well, let me finish this up. I only got a couple more, well, one more pass, two more passes here. And we will be done with this. I'm going to stop by Zoe's house and get a check for $10,325. Okay, you, you can't beat that with a stick. And then um, probably head back home, have a, have a bacon sandwich, a can of water. And you know what? If it's still light out, I suppose I could start loading up some um, barrels of our whiskey. And I think we've got like six or seven of them produced already. Sophie, Sophie went home and she took care of that. She, you know what? Um, Sophie dabbles in all kinds of stuff. She dabbled in wacky tobacco. She's dabbled in um, that funny weed. She's dabbled in, uh, yeah, I don't know, wine. So now she's dabbling in this uh, whiskey, corn whiskey thing, and she's just seems to enjoy it. But you know what? You just kind of got to let her do what she got to do. That's that's all I can say. Just don't let her buy horseradish. That's all I'm saying. Don't let her buy horseradish, and life is good. So I'll wrap this up. I head back up to the farm, and I'll see you up there in a jiffy. But thanks for stopping today, my friends. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Cheers. Just heading back home. I stopped at Zoe. Got paid. Look at that. We're at $25,555. bucks. that's a good number. That's a good number. So we're sitting pretty good money-wise now. Um, I probably could... Um, I probably could get that. Oh, hey, hey, little white Prius driving bottle. I, I could have. Uh, I probably can get that Baylor and bail wagon for what I got in the bank now. But that doesn't leave any spending money and any money to pay the expenses at the farm. You know, we got to pay the electric bill, got to pay the propane bill, you know, the cable bill. Got to have internet. Got to have internet. A little pew pew pewing. So I don't know. I I, I don't want to spend all the money. And Sophie right now is kind of against going down to the bank and uh, getting some money. So, we got to do what we got to do. We got to do what we got to do. I got to listen to her. She, uh, She's the boss, even though that um, I wear the pants. I, I, I wear the pants in the family. Hey, oh, he's behind me now. Hey, exciting stuff. But I think it's still daylight outside, so I'm going to get this back. I'll get the um, cultivator put away. I'll get the tractor uh, filled up and put back in the shed, and then I'll probably uh, get the uh, loader out, and we'll go see if we can load up some um, of our special whiskey and have that ready for delivery in the morning and kind of figure out how much money we got in that. Like I said, I, I they're offering 14. I'm going to counter offer with 18. We'll probably settle on 16. 1600 bucks a uh, a barrel. That's kind of what I'm thinking because there there's they're still there's still profit. I mean, this is not Pond Stars or crying out loud, you know. Uh, they make a little bit of money. I make a little bit of money. Life is good. That that's kind of what that's kind of what we're thinking. And, and I'm doing all the damn work crying out loud. I'm running the distillery in the, in the woods. So We'll figure it out from there. Let me get this parked up, and I'll get the loader tractor running, and uh, we'll go down there and see how many barrels we have out of our uh, fancy, dancy uh, hidden distillery in the woods. All right, down here at my hidden distillery in the woods this late evening, I have got seven barrels of premium men-made K-Sim special brown labeled whiskey and corn whiskey. I got two in the truck, and I got five in the trailer, so I got a load of seven there. And then I've got seven over here. So I called them up. I said, hey, I'll bring you down a load, but we're going to settle on 1600 bucks." And they finagled for a little bit, and I said, fine. Then I'll just go somewhere else. He said, okay, fine, 1600 bucks." So 1600 bucks a barrel. So if my Minnesota math is right, using my fancy-dancy Minnesota math calculator, 
Uh, 14 barrels would be worth about 22,400 bucks. That's not too shabby. That is not too shabby. So I'm looking forward to that. Holy buckets, that looks pretty good. Let's just check out the steel. I can't believe how much uh, whiskey we're producing here. Oh, watch out for the door. Oh, man, get in there. Oh, yeah, she's cooking. The flame is going. Look at that. Flame is going. We're boiling it. We're uh, barreling it. Oh, I tell you what. I think Sophie's been into it a little bit. The cork is open. Yeah, she likes her whiskey. She likes her whiskey. She quit drinking that white claw crap, so that's pretty good. But anyways, loader tractor worked out pretty good. I got a load of seven. Let's head on down to the uh, distribution distribution company, and we will uh, drop these seven off, and then I'll have to come back and get another one. I, sh I should look into getting a bigger trailer for crying out loud. Holy buckets. Yeah, I gotta get a bigger trailer. Gotta get a bigger trailer. Okay, they should all stay on there pretty good. We uh, we hauled some down there to the uh, Men's Bar and Grill earlier. So we'll head down, down to the dis distribution company before the sun sets. They're still open, and we will drop these off. And then, like I said, I'll have to come back and get another load and drop them off. And we will get paid. We will get paid. Money in the bank. Another 22400 bucks. See, we're sitting actually pretty good. So this um, whiskey business that I... Uh, got set up with this distribution company and k sims too because i got a legally you know i got to use their their label but um it's, it's gonna work out pretty good it's gonna work out pretty good i may not get the be the uh, famous distillery guy like uh, like like jack or um jim but um you know that's okay that's okay i don't i don't need to be that famous anyway because uh, you know we still got that stupid chicken mafia so that's okay it's a good thing i'll just um Go underneath the shadow, so to speak. But let's head up to the distribution company. We will drop these off. And like I said, I'm going to come back. I'm going to get seven more. And we will um, drop those off at well and then uh, hopefully get paid. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. And then on the way back from my second load, I want to stop at the um, the animal dealer. And I want to take a look at that baler and bale loader and see um, what that's like. If we have time, we could actually stop by the uh, other farm there. And take a look at that fertilizer spreader they got. So the two pieces of equipment that I want. I need the baler and the bale trailer. And I need that spreader. That Those are things that I need. I got that straw on the ground. Now, we were going to get that straw from the one contract. But it uh, turned out that we weren't able to do it. So we just have our one straw sitting over here. But if I can get a baler and a bale loader, we could go to town. We could go to town. The animal dealer is still open. So maybe that guy will be down there. So if we can agree on a price, I could um, get that all set up. But, um, yeah, we'll head down there, and we'll, we'll drop this, um, this whiskey off, and I'll see you in a little bit. I got uh, both loads done, 47,955 bucks. Oh man, we're sitting pretty good. I'm gonna get down to the uh, sawmill here before the uh, day ends. And let's just take a look at that piece of equipment. We'll have to go look at that, uh, there's our driveway. We'll have to go look at that fertilizer spreader tomorrow morning. But if I can finagle a deal here, he was around 30,000, but I'm thinking 20, 25, 26. I think would be a good um, a good price that we could get for this uh, baler and bale trailer. Let me get that straw done, man. I, I can't believe it. Uh, we get that straw done. It's just going to be um, crazy, absolutely crazy. I think I'm going the right way. Am I going the right way, or I have to go the other way? No, I'm going the right way. I got to be going the right way. It's right up here, isn't it? Uh, that's what I was thinking. Right up here? No, nope, that ain't it. Um, shoot, did I I turn the wrong way? I thought this was it. No, nope, that's not it. That's not it. What in the world am I thinking? Um, I might have missed it. How, can, how do you miss a big animal dealership for crying out loud? It could be the other way. I thought it was up this way. Um, oh, there's are more of those barrels, spinning barrels around the neck of the woods. Uh, I'm telling you what. Telling you what. I thought it was up here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was up here. You know, with me, 
you just you just never know. You, you, just, you just never know what's going on. I'm telling you. You know what we should do tonight? I hear there's some crazy things going down at the campground. I'm telling you, I think, I think maybe we should go take a... Oh, yeah, here it is. Take a cruise by the campground and see what's going on there. Um, let's pull into here. Let's see if that baler is still here. It should be here. It said it was parked out front. Oh, I got to get, get a bigger trailer, too. I got to get a bigger trailer. Um, no, yeah, I thought it was sitting out front here. Hmm. Huh. Well, uh, maybe he sold it. I could have swore it was sitting out front. Um, well, I don't know. I'll have to give him a call. Yeah, he said it was sitting out front of the sawmill. That's where I'm at. Uh, not, the, not the cattle dealer, the sawmill. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, that's a bummer. I'll tell you what. Oh, I'll give him a call. Maybe he moved it. I don't know. Uh, maybe somebody's test driving it. I don't know. Hope he didn't sell it. Man, that was a good. That was going to be a good deal. That would have been a good deal. But it is what it is. It's okay. It's okay. Let's um, let's see. I want to go this way. Let's um, let's go down to that campground and see what's uh, what's happening down there. But otherwise, not too bad. Forty-seven thousand nine hundred fifty-five bucks in the bank. Uh, I have to pay some bills. That'll go down a little bit. But yeah, it is what it is. I was disappointed with that baler. I couldn't have swore he said it was baler was out front of the sun. Oh, jeez, pickup. Oh, let's take out a mailbox there. Swerving in the other lane. Holy crap. I haven't even been drinking. I haven't even had a touch of drop of alcohol today. Nope, none. Oh, man. All right. We'll pull into here. And we'll take a little hike and we'll see what happens. Oh, swing set here. Oh, very nice. I haven't been up here. Sophie and I have not been here since. Uh, I'm just going to. Well, I don't want to park in front of the bike rack. Uh, yeah, we'll park over here. We'll park over here. Hiking trail. We'll go hike up there. Yeah, we'll just park right here. Uh, that's a good enough spot. I don't care what they say. Take a hike. We'll go take a hike. Oh, man, what a beautiful evening. I should have, I should call Sophie. Maybe Sophie wants to come down and, um, and come. But let's just go for a little hike. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, my flashlight. It's getting kind of dark. Holy crap, does it get dark in the woods, doesn't it? Holy buckets. Holy buckets. Well, go for a hike. It's a beautiful, beautiful night for a hike. I hear there's some um, interesting things that happen here at night, and I, I, I got, I'm packing. I'm packing. I got, I got, I got, I got my 45 here. So if something crazy comes along, we can um, see what's going on. But uh, I have not been up here. I have not been up here. Sophie wanted to do it, but she can't. She kind of got scared. She went. She went out for a morning run. She likes to go for these morning runs, you know, before she goes to the gym. Why do people do that? Why do people go out for a morning run and then go to the gym? I, I, I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. I'm not a big gym guy. I'm not a big gym guy. Uh, I get enough workout just doing normal stuff. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But it, it does give you a little creepy feeling, doesn't it? It does kind of give you a little creepy feeling that uh, something bad's gonna happen. Like Friday the Thirteenth, Jason's gonna come out and kill you. And I've never been a. Uh... Oh, I thought that was something shiny down there. Yeah, I found like a gold nugget or something. I don't know. But, yeah, I've never been one of those horror movie kind of guys, you know. And, like, you know when that's, when all those Scream movies came out, you know, and you're watching it, you're like, don't do that. Don't do that. And, it, and the person goes and does it and gets killed. I mean, it's, it's obvious, dude. Don't do not do that. Don't go there. Yeah, I don't know. Um, right behind you. Look, right behind you. It's right behind you. You know, I, they just don't seem to get it. They just don't seem to get it. Got to admit, though, it is kind of nice up here. It really is nice up here. It's a good hiking trail. Oh, man, we can see the view here. Oh, let's see the view. Oh, the view over the uh, Middleburg Valley. Oh, man, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Oh, a little rock formation up here. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Look at the valley. Oh, man, absolutely gorgeous place. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm telling you, I like it. I really do. No wonder Zeke wanted to come here. I, I, I'll, I'll give him credit for that now. Yeah, he wanted to um, explore the uh, the Middleburg Valley. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Our farm is, uh, well, you can't see the side of the mountain there. There is that one way off in the distance over there. That's the one that um, Sophie really wants to uh, to get. But, um, oh, I don't know. That's a lot of money. We are, we are, we are far. Oh, crap, don't fall off the ledge, man. Oh, jeez, Reapers, Reapers almost fell off the edge. I almost uh, did a face plant over the side of the mountain here. Oh, I don't know. Let's keep walking and see what else we can see. It's kind, of, it's kind of fun, being adventurous. I think this is the campground up in here, I think. 
There's a little lake over there in the trees. Very nice. I should have, um, we'll have to go there one day, get a little kayaking. Sophie and I have talked about going kayaking out there, but yeah, here's the campground. Oh, and we got a campfire going on there. Oh, that's kind of nice. Maybe I can, uh, oh, I jumped there a little bit. Maybe I can meet some people. Have a, have a, have a canned water by the campfire? That sounds pretty cool. I kind of like that. I kind of like that, man. I'll tell you what. Oh, there's a lake right there. Right on the lake. That'd be a nice little campground the uh, Middleburg got here. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They got some docks. Oh, man, this is nice. Oh, I can't believe I didn't take Sophie with me. I wonder what this thing is. Um, campus Pass. Oh, self register. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, this is nice. That's nice. I'm telling you what. Pretty damn snazzy. Pretty damn snazzy. Well, I don't know. I don't see anybody around. Um campfire going that's pretty cool oh i like that oh i like that i don't see anybody around maybe i'm too late maybe i'm too late maybe um jason was already here i don't know i don't know slice so it's nice to have these um tent. holy crap you can have a you can rent a tent and have a bath have a bath in the tent that's pretty cool i like that i like that very nice very very nice stay toasty by the fire i wonder who's man in the fire here I should have brought some weenies. I could have had some weenies for crying out loud. But, um, yeah, very cool. Very cool. Very nice. I like it. I, I, I still can't believe that there's a fire going, but nobody's around here. I have no idea. Um, no idea. I wonder how much they cost to... Oh, there's somebody over there. What the heck? exciting to say the least i shot the guy i did i i, I did i did he had a chainsaw i had a gun gun always is going to be the chainsaw no i'm just i think it's some kind of a character night they have at the campground that's, that's pretty cool um like a mystery theater kind of thing oh man that's kind of cool anyways it's getting late sophie um is probably worried about me i'm gonna head back to the uh, farm and we'll call her a day there. I didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done. I didn't get that uh, baler and that bale trailer looked at. Oh, crap, there's a car behind me. There's the popo. Tots, are you behind me? Um, maybe hopefully it's not that Jason character following me home. That'd be, that'd be a little freaky. Um, anyways, so, yeah, I didn't get everything done. I didn't, I didn't get the baler and the bale trailer looked at, but we can do that. We'll do that tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow morning. Hopefully it's not raining. Because I have all that straw on the ground. I need to get that build up. So hopefully it's not raining. And we get that done. I need to, um, well, I don't think I'll have any more uh, whiskey production to deliver tomorrow. I, I, I can't remember how much we're producing per hour or per day. But, oh, my driveway. Here's my driveway. It seems that we're, we're getting a lot of production out of there as long as uh, Sophie and I are tending to it. Oh, holy buckets. I almost hit a tree. I almost hit a tree. So that's the game plan for tomorrow. We got to look at that baler. We got to look at that bale trailer, and we got to get that straw picked up. That is uh, that is uh, number one issue on the agenda. Second issue on the agenda would be once you're sent to B, gets the uh, plans for that uh, barley field, then we can start focusing on that. Go down to Fox Farms or order some fertilizer if we need it, and I'll probably have to then get the uh, New Holland or the New Holland hooked up to the uh, chisel plow, and we can get that all plowed up. And ready to go for either winter planting or spring or spring planting. So either one, either one is good with me. Uh, it would be nice to have it done now. I'll get the planting done in the winter here. This fall, that that, that would that would work out pretty good. I would be um, all game for that. Man, it's kind of freaky now coming down my own driveway after uh, walking through the camp camp <laughs> campground there at night. But uh, you know what? Exercise is good for you, and the uh, thrill of a guy in a chainsaw wearing a hockey mask. I tell you what, yeah, it's. Um, that's pretty cool. But anyways, my friends, that, that was a, a somewhat productive day. We, we got a lot of stuff done. We got some contract work done. We got money in the bank. And then we've got um, some uh, whiskey delivered. And we're kind of we're kind of set to go. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it. But anyways, uh, I'll leave it there for today. You stay safe and stay healthy. And thanks for stopping today. I sincerely appreciate that, my friends. Um, enjoy. En enjoy the rest of the week. Have fun. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And uh, keep them between the ditches. Cheers.